Faroese independence and Faroese sovereignty is not against Denmark. We're just saying there is no reason why Denmark shall decide upon our democracy. Aquests dies una delegació de l'Aliança Lliure Europea hem estat aquí a les Illes Feroe per estudiar, entendre, comprendre el sistema d'autogovern d'aquestes illes que formen part del regne de Dinamarca però tenen un autogovern molt fort, molt sòlid. L'any 1974, just després que Dinamarca accedís a la Unió Europea, en aquell moment la Comunitat Econòmica Europea, el Parlament de les Illes Feroe, per unanimitat, va decidir que no volia formar part de la Unió Europea, per tant, va exercir el seu dret a l'autodeterminació en relació amb la Unió Europea, bàsicament per una qüestió de pesca. Aquí, nas Illas Feroe, a industria pesqueira é fundamental. Ten acordos internacionais, pode celebrarlos. Teñen unha soberanía pesqueira que a fan como unha nación pesqueira que son en ter a súa propia capacidade, a súa propia autodeterminación tamén no sector das pescas. No caso galego, se tuvese as competencias que teñen as Illas Feroe, hoxe teríamos outros beneficios para o país. Pero nos non temos capacidade pesqueira porque negociaron por nos e negociaron mal, porque non se respeitaron respetou a autodeterminación pesqueira dunha nación que pesca como a nosa. We don't have any natural belonging to Denmark. We are a nation, we are a geographically independent group of islands. We are doing very well and we don't have many conflicts at the moment with Denmark. But... At the end, we, we need to take charge of ourselves. That is very important. This is the parliament, this white building here. Please come in. Everybody thought this wasn't possible, but today we have a, an almost independent country with its own culture, language, own economy, and which also tries to have its own connection to the to, to the world and to Europe. And that is, that is possible. So now we are, in my opinion, just a little bit away from becoming fully independent. Self-determination and the right to self-determination has been at the core of everything we have done to develop our society. As the UN has stated, every people, every nation has the right to decide their own future if they want to be independent or want to be integrated. And they also have the right to pursue and control their own national resources. So we have used the concept of self-determination to have control over our, over our national resources and to see us as equal in the world. We don't accept that the Faroe Islanders or the Catalans or the Scottish people, why, why are we not equal? <laughs> La primera cosa que caracteritza les Illes Feroe és que ells tenen competències en quasi totes les seves competències, excepte, ho hem vist, amb la policia, amb el sistema judicial i amb el sistema de defensa, però totes les altres tenen competències directes i això els fa que siguin ells els que gestionen absolutament totes les seves polítiques. I una d'elles és la llengua. Estem construint entre tots aquest gran món globalitzat. Quan parlem de llengües el que veiem és que ens està empetitint a nivell cultural i a nivell lingüístic. Veiem com al final a tot el món les llengües, hi ha quatre, màxim quatre llengües que són molt fortes i que estan tenint aquesta pressió a tot arreu del territori, no només a les Islas Feroe, sinó a tot arreu. I haurem de veure quins canals utilitzem perquè aquesta pluralitat lingüística que al final representa les democràcies al món puguin subsistir i puguin ser part del nostre dia a dia i de les nostres llengües vehiculars. In Lisboa e Ferroé è un territorio con l'acqua e con il vento, soprattutto il vento. So, un paese libero, un paese autonomo. E hanno eh, fatto la decisione di, eh, di fare in maniera che il territorio sia al 100% all'energia rinnovabile da qui al 2030. Hanno strutture, hanno eh, infrastrutture veramente 
forte, importante. O sucesso dessa política é um sucesso realmente interessante, porque quando você está em situação de agir para per voi, com a vossa vontade e a vossa uh, capacidade, uh, você está em situação de deportar um exemplo a todo o resto da Europa. We vision a world where we have many small states, or at least many equal peoples that can cooperate together. It's, it's, it's never the small microstate in modern times that has created tensions or wars or problems. It is still the big colonial powers that are still struggling for the same power they've had for 100 years. They are trying to put the concept of self-determination aside, and that's a huge problem. So we have to struggle every day to put self-determination again at the highest point of, of global politics. We see a Europa for the first time. For a Europa of all the peoples. For a Europa of the peoples. A Europa for the first time. A Europa for all the peoples. For a Europa of all the peoples.